Hello everybody and welcome to the Clone Wars Adventures Emulator 10 year anniversary. Oh, and it's also Easter, so happy Easter. There's probably not going to be too many people on due to the fact that a majority of people are celebrating Easter with their families. Except I can't, since I'm actually sick. I was supposed to be away this week for, and for vacation, but... Eh, some things just don't work out for you sometimes. Well, anyways, I will see who is here th for the 10 year anniversary. Alright, so it looks like we are doing a mostly a uh, house house lot type uh, exploration because of this Easter falling on the 31st on the sunset anniversary. I'm pretty sure they had other plans, but uh, this is fine. We'll take a look and see what lot we'll be seeing. Well, this is Caster Starbots. Padawan Dorm, or if you want to just call it the Castor Casino, or Castor Casino, however you wish to pronounce it. And I am going to presume all these, uh, d like, uh, consoles are slot machines. Only reason I know that is because of my home state of New Jersey, and you know, Atlantic City is known for having all the slot machines. Well, right behind Las Vegas, of course. It's, uh, for the most part, simple, but it's also very creative. I do like the simple but the creativity behind it. You know, I wonder if you could build in the trophy room once I add it back in. Because I kind of remember you could place certain things in the trophy room that used to be here. But other than that, I don't think you could really do anything else besides view your trophies, which I'm sure will make their comeback. But in the meantime, let's just take a look around and we will see if we see anything else interesting. I assume you can jump up here on these lights. Yep, you can. That's good. But I think you're going to need to use a mount of some sort to jump up to the top. Or if you do some timely jumps, you can probably actually jump up there without one. But knowing my luck, I'm probably going to need one. So uh, let's see who's joining us today. Alright, so there's of course myself standing right there. We have uh, Tinutano. We have the legendary Mr. Hut. We all love Mr. Hut and we always love his videos. Be sure to check his channel out in the description. I will be sure to leave it. We also have Flavor Nukes, long timer here as well. We also have Trash Can Material, a little bit of a newer alpha tester, but he made sure to join us today. Good old Malik with his... Uh, what is it called? ATRT mount. I really want one, but I don't have one. Kind of stinks, but you know, at the point we will probably get one. To buy. Uh, we have Caleb Sunfire over here. No, it's the first time I've actually seen him. Let's see, did I see somebody else over here? No, I didn't. Yeah, this is Caster Starbots lot. And here he is with his J33B3. We have good old Snowman, who joined us. We have Lan Magnafall over here. Good old Lux, or you know, the Deluxe as we like to call him. Lux Rosas, one of the counselors. We have Lord Scar over there. First time I've, I, th I think I've seen them at an event. We have one of the emissaries, Blaine, joining us here. And I think there's one other person I saw, but I don't think they're here in the lot yet. Oh yeah, and Eden, that's that's it. And if I remember correctly, I think Eden is also working on their own Clone Wars Adventures emulator project. I could be a little wrong with that, but you can leave a comment in the description about that. Oh yeah, I missed good old Rune Blade Storm. Uh, he just disappeared. Where'd he go? Oh, there you are. Alright, so, that's everybody for now, and I will go to the n next lot. Uh, you will see a cut in the video probably right here. Alright, so it looks like a few other people did teleport here, and if you do join today's event, you do get some free credits. I don't know how many it is. I think I got some. I thought I heard the noise. I got the standard 69 credits from Mr. Hud over here. And if you don't have the SOE speeder yet, and you join the March 31st event, or anniversary event, you get this speeder, but other than that, we're just going to be looking at some other people's lots. I don't know who's next. I think I saw something in the chat about it being Severin Fang's lot, who's also here with us. I can't remember what he looks like. I'm not sure if he's still here or not. Yeah, I don't see him here. So maybe. But we will see. Alright, now, I could be wrong here, but I think this is Severin Fang's lot. If I'm wrong, I will take a look real quick. Hold on a second. Alright, so I just learned that yes, this is a Severin Fang's lot, and it looks like a Colosseum type setup actually. Kind of reminds me of the Colosseum in Rome, if I remember 
the correction of the name and where it's located because history is not my strong suit. But it looks exactly like this, or maybe it, it could be a wrestling ring, or it could be one of those fencing rings where, where I see people with the swords. I have to say, very uh, impressive. Must have taken quite a, a bit of money to, uh, you know, pay for the supplies and build this. A lot of patience is really needed for this, and uh, patience is something I have lack of. And now the first floor looks pretty basic. Now the second floor, I'm very curious. Is there anything of interest up here? Okay, I got some boxes. All right, we got some plants. We got some very decently sized couches lined up pretty well. Okay, did I just hear something? Was I just gifted credits or something? Uh, let's see. I wonder, can you get outside this lot too? I know you can, because I have a lot, literally, I just have four or five, uh, what is it? Panels that just build up and you could just jump yourself out of the lot. Uh, yeah, this looks like a little area where you can eat or play some games. Looks like a little recreational area. Looks very nice. Let's see. Oh, yes, the patio. Patio is the best part, actually. Okay, second best part. The best part is definitely still that little gladiator-type looking area. But I know that's not what it is. It, it's definitely something. Probably missing it in the main chat, but I wanted to unclutter my screen from everything. This really does look nice. Uh, let's see, who else can we find around here? Oh, is that Blaster Nice Shot right there? Looks like him. Looks very nice around here, actually. At the point, I will start building one of my lots, but due to the fact that uh, there's very minimal things to use to build, I'd rather just wait. And you know if, oh my, if they're not added until like, the game becomes public, then I can understand why, but in the meantime, I'm just going to keep what I have and wait, because sometimes waiting is better, because good things come to those who wait. Oh, hello. We've got some of the Starship uh, consoles up there. That's pretty neat. And now, can we go jump down onto the actual stage itself? No, we cannot. We'll just run there instead, actually. Uh, let's see, can we jump up here? Uh, yes, we can. But let's do it a little bit more of a smart way. Alright, so we have ourselves the lights, and it looks like a fan, almost. Or maybe it's just another light area. And here we are, we are at the actual main stage area, which looks like a very cool area. Get a nice overall view, and you have a beautiful view of the sky, which is great too. Alright, so here we are in the free cam. A few other people have joined us. Uh, Gatlin, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. We got a few other people. We got the house inspector! Hey, what's up? House inspector's here. Uh, uh, Zavage or Savage is here. We got General Eggs. We got ourselves... Uh, where's the other one? Oh, Dark Emperor Snake, that's right. Dark Emperor Snake is here. Yep, Blaster's here. Good to see Blaster. Good thing I recognize what he wore. We got Darth Benevolent. And I think there was two or three other people, but for some reason they don't show up on my screen. I think that's a bug. I don't know if that's the case for most people, but for some reason it's a bug on my end. But maybe if we teleport again or we exit the minigame, maybe that'll fix. All right, let's see if we can get an overall view here. Ooh, actually, that's a very nice view. Hey, very beautiful. So we'll get the view from up here. We'll go down here, get a little side view. I didn't see this. Let's see, what does that say? Won't, probably won't be able to read it. Let's see if I can read this. Oh, it's just a CWA emu. Okay, CWA emulator. Emu, emu, emu. And we have ourselves the two good old Jedi statues. We got ourselves the good old rocks. Oh yeah, if anyone's watching this, we oh, we love your rock project and your rock walls. Does it say the same thing on this side? Yes, it does. Very beautiful. Looks very cool, so... Oh, Blaine's back. Hello again, Blaine. Guess she's coming to join in, maybe for a group photos or something? Alright, so, if anybody else comes in, I will be sure to shout them out. But in the meantime, I will just uh, pause the recording here until we go to the next lot. Alright, so here we are at the next lot. I believe this might be Malik's lot. I don't think I read the message correctly. I think it might be his. But it looks like uh, a few extra things were added in since the last time we were here. 
I'm seeing a few extra things. And for those who have not seen this a lot, I did do a video of the last event, and I believe this lot was in it too, but there were, were things that were not in it before that are in it now. This looks like a big hotel area, which looks very, very cool. I really like it. I will once again do another run through of the area, just in case people did not see the previous event. Now, I wonder how many lots are going to be today. If there are going to be a lot, then we're going to have like 15 or 20 different uh, individual like cuts or whatever you want to call them for these videos. And now, I wonder if you could just jump out and uh, run out of this lot too. That would be interesting to see. And I really do like all the colors here. I like how they added the all these orbs here, the red, yellow, green orbs. Or maybe there are different colors for you if you're colorblind, but hey, who knows? Let's take a look and go up here, and, oh yeah, yeah, I remember going all the way up here too. I remember doing this. Is there anything new up here? I, I'm not sure if the furniture is new because my memory is out of a goldfish and I don't remember anything. Now let's take a look. Oh yeah, I, I remember these seats. Yeah, the seats I remember. Okay. Maybe there's a extra floor or two on here that I might not remember. Let's take a look here and see. Okay, there's nothing good on the TV over here. Well, I know it's not TV. There's nothing interesting pulled up on that computer area. Alright, doesn't look like there's too much new up here. Hey, there's Trash Can. What you, what's up? Alright, let's go check the other middle level areas. I didn't see if there was anything new there. But maybe there will be. Oh, hey, landed up here. That's good. Yep, I remember this area. This is, uh, a good area. Uh, let's see. I don't like missing things. I probably will miss things, as I usually do. I don't know why I do, but it's, it's just how I am, because I lose track of where I'm at. Alright, got a cool little side room over here. Nice. We always have all these side rooms again. For those that remember the past video, they'll remember these rooms. Oh, hey, there's Severin Fang. I can finally see him. I did a relog. Yep, we got a little area over here with all the very cool lights. I remember the very cool lights. Always awesome to see. Really like the 1980s nostalgia things here. I always like calling the 1980s like synthwave vibes, if that's the word. I think it's like synthwaves, is that what they're called? Leave a comment for that too, if that's what you call it. And let's see, what else is there? Um, Yeah, of course, there's more computer areas here. Another side room over here. And I think I showed off everything else over here on this floor. So up here, of course you can run up here and see what there is. Another cool area up here. Got some storage over here and we got ourselves a place you can play checkers. Because you know, checker table with the starship tables. And we got ourselves another little hangout area. And I have completed Discount C-3PO. Hey. And we also have another little hangout area here. Hey, I think that's General Eggs up there. Looking good as always, General Eggs, if you're watching this video. And of course, you know, the little starship table again. Always looking really cool. Anything around this I can go to? No? Okay, let's go down here. Alright, yeah, of course there's the little lunch area. That's always cool to see. And, yep, a little bedroom too. Always cool. And I wonder where is everybody? Let's see if we can find them. Alright, so we're getting an outside view here of good old uh, Malik's hotel area, which is what it looks like here. And it looks like Chowder joined us. Now, the uh, ca purple character from that TV show. And it looks like we also got Rake Beta Drift with us now. After my relog, it looks like I could finally see him. Good to see you, Rake. Who else is there? Yep, you remember Lord Scar? Yeah, Caster's right there. Just going through the free cam here to see if we can find anybody. Is anybody up here in the tower? Uh, looks like there was somebody here before I left. 
Oh, hey, there's Silas. How you doing, Silas? Vaspir? Uh, oh yeah, there's there's Zevage. Zavage. I, I never say the name right. Very bad pronouncing names, no matter how many times I see him. Might be somebody else. I think I saw Eel in here. Like, right at the start. Not sure where she's at now. Probably exploring. But I will go to the next lot once we are all ready to go. Hey, look who's here! Roscoe, what's up? Other than that, that's everybody I think that's been at the event so far. I might have missed a few people because of that uh, login issue I was having, but we shall see who the next lot is very shortly. All right, looks like we got ourselves Cap uh, Capo Gr Grigio uh, Clone X2 joining us here. And we got... Uh, Oyakir? Is that how you say it? Oyakir? Oyakir? I don't know how you say it. And look, we got Ganner! Hey, how you doing, Ganner? Slower Walker, good to see ya. Thanks for joining. Alright, I, and I think the Tinu Tano's lot is up next, so we will see you there very shortly. Alright, so here we are at Tinu Tano's Padawan Dorm. Kind of looks like an undercover outpost a little bit. I see they made great use of the walls to make some additional space or as a retexture of the actual lot. Anything I can assist with? Okay, so this is the bedroom. Okay, so it's just one bed with uh, a lot of bright lights. Not sure how you're supposed to get any sleep in here, but... Yeah, who am I to judge? I can't sleep with bright lights. I barely can sleep with a fan off. Alright, so we have his missile collection right here along with some st miscellaneous storage that we don't know about. Got ourselves some more storage over here, and we got ourselves a nice little area right here for pl uh, pl maybe playing that uh, game that they did on the Millennium Falcon. Maybe you can play that game on here. That'd be pretty neat. Okay, so is there a way to get up there? I'm assuming there's a way to get up there, but I'm going to have to do some exploring on my own. Hold on a second. Alright, so now I'm getting a bit of a more uh, upscale view here. Cause, and it looks like we have somebody else who joined us here. We got Long Neck with us now, and Pinkle. Good to see Pinkle join us. Oh, there's Blaster. Finally got him in the shot. Besides the, at the first house. I might have to do another relog because for some reason when new people seem to log on, uh, it doesn't seem to have them in. So it looks like every like three or four new people that log in, I'm probably have to like log out so I can see them. Kind of annoying bug at the moment, but not much you can do. So in the meantime, let's see what the next house will be while we wait. All right, so we are at the next lot. Looks like it's another Padawan dorm. And this is Rake Beta Drift's lot, I believe. I think I read that correctly before Mr. Hut teleported away. So we got ourselves a nice little computer area up here where you can do your work. We got ourselves the little living room. And it looks like a makeshift fireplace. Hey, that looks real nice. Love that. How can I be of service? And now, let's see. Uh, I don't know what this is. Is this like a little closet area or a little archive book area, maybe? I'm thinking that's what this is. Uh, is there anything else in this room? Oh yeah, look, it's the Obi-Wan Kenobi statue, I think. He will not be our only hope, hopefully. Alright, what's in here? It looks like another type of living room type area. With a fireplace. Hey, wh where's the Christmas tree, though? Is this the Christmas tree? I don't see any s any presents from Santa. Santa! Where you at? Uh, what's see. Oh, is this a bar? Hello. I can go for a drink. Looks like a little bar and uh, restaurant type area almost. Here's the bar and there's everything else. Only question is, do they serve death sticks here with their drinks? If they don't, then it's not the uh, uh, Star Wars experience. I need the Star Wars experience here and it requires death sticks. Greetings. Now, let's go up here, see what there is. Hmm, almost like a, su a subway, <laughs> in a way. I just jumped the turnstile at the subway. Alright, another little living room type area. This almost kind of looks like a... It's supposed to be a, a sink for the bathroom. 
but it's not that, and here it's probably just one of those desks for the side, desks and the lamps for the light. A little bit of a work area, it looks very nice. Let's see, what, what else is there over here? Yep, you got a nice little look-see at the exit. That's cool. We got ourselves a little area to sit and relax for the patio Porsche. Or porch, my bad, not the car. That would be cool if somebody built built like real life cars on Clone Wars Adventures. That'd be very interesting. What else here? Is this another bar? Looks like another bar almost. Or maybe it's another area just to sit with your laptop to do some work. That'd be interesting too. Fe feeling the very synthetic 80s up here. Looks really cool. Uh, looks like that's about it because, you know, it's a Paddle 1 dorm. So it's not much to see. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So we'll hang out here. I'll get a overview look in the free cam. I will show you that right now. Oh, I just noticed, too. Hello there, Corhawk. Good to see you. I, rem I recognize him from his uh, clothing. Good to see you again, Corhawk. We're still waiting around, and it looks like people are also still having the issue with the CT's numbers. Because there's a bug right now still with the people being invisible when they get here, but you can see what they say, but you can't see them moving. They're like a ghost. So, it's probably going to be a lot of relocking for me because I keep seeing more people come in, but I don't see who they are, which kind of stinks. Alright, so we are at Eolin's lot again. So I'm not going to do a huge tour of this, because I already did this in a past video, but I will show you the general highlights, and I will show a part of the lot I missed last time, and I think Elon actually pointed it out to me in the, that video, too. So we shall see what I missed. I know exactly where it is now, it's not over here, but it looks like there was some additional stuff out. I don't remember this rock wall being here last time. This looks brand new, just doesn't look familiar to me. But then again, I don't have a good memory. Maybe this was already here. Oh yeah, kind of, okay, maybe I kind of remember this a little bit. It's a little different. Still very cool. It looks, looks, still looks very great. And then, you know, this little area up here where you have to run up the rocks and you are by this very devilish looking red light. Ooh, hello. <laughs> what are you doing, General Eggs? I, I think you're, uh, we got General Scrambled Eggs over here on the, uh, on the pots and pan. Now, the, the place that I missed for Eolin's lot was the little area, I think it was over here, if I remember correctly. Greetings. I didn't see it last time. It was this little area where it's kind of like where Luke was captured in, uh, where was that? In Empire Strikes Back on Hoth. It's like that area, except, you know, the dry version, the dry, hot, humid version of it. Looks very nice in here. I do really like it, though. And then, you know, there's the standard rock wall you could climb up, and it's always very cool to see. I never get bored climbing up the area. I remember uh, specifically that Elon said that there was a way to climb up without j using your mount. You can just jump up regularly, as I'm doing right now, doing that. But it's not as easy as most people think. I do remember that you could go up there, though. That I do remember. I just don't know the way up. Because my memory is that of a goldfish. Uh, yeah, we're probably not going to find our way up, so... If we do, I'll, I'll shock myself. Okay, I see what you gotta do. Yeah, you gotta climb there. And then there is a way to jump. I don't know where it is, but there is definitely a way to jump. Hmm. Do I have to jump over here somewhere? I think so. Oh, yep, you do have to jump up there somehow. Uh, oh, is it over here? Uh, okay, yep, I see it. I'm, I'm not cheating, I'm not using a mount, as you can see. But I don't know exactly if I can make that jump in particular. You probably can, but it's just very, very difficult. Yep, I'm like stuck right here, so... 
Good luck with that. Let's see if I can find my way up or not. Okay, so I failed jumping up there. I, I know the way up, but I, I failed spectacularly. So let's see, who do we have here? Anybody new? I don't think there's anybody here that's too new. I think I might have saw one or two people. And now let's see everybody trying to jump up here. Oh yeah, oh hey, Krim joined us. I didn't even know he was here. Or maybe I saw him, but I just didn't call out his name. My bad. Hey, Mr. Hutt. I see you up there. How you doing? He knows the way up because he's been doing this for quite a while now, so... Oh, let's see. Who's closest here? Oh, yeah, Zevage is pretty close. Yeah, Krim's pretty close. Uh, yeah, Dark Emperor Snake is still trying to make his way up. Uh, let's see. Who's down here now? Oh, yeah, Lan. Hello there, Lan. Uh, oh, there's Spike Jansen. Hey, Spike. I'm, he's on my friends list. Don't see him on too much, though. Alright, so, you, you remember this, uh, lot, so let's see who the next lot will be. Oh, hey, Lynn! Lynn, good to see ya! Hey, where'd you go? Where'd you go, Lynn? Oh, there you are. Yeah, well, anyways, we'll see who the, the next lot is. In the meantime, I'll just hang out with everybody here. Alright, so here we are at Core Hawks. Very amazingly designed Padawan dorm. We can play chess with the Obi-Wan heads, and we can even... Use computer. That I think is the best lot we've had so far. And look, he even has a little bit of a almost fireplace, and that's pretty neat too. Oh, hey, Blaster! Good to see Blaster in another video here. It's the third time I said that in this video, actually. I'm keeping track. But I wonder, can we all play chess at the same time, or is this just a still a two-player game, or do we all get to be one Obi one chess head? I'm very interested in the idea. But we will see who is next, and oh yeah, good old Wald over here, Wald Delaglide, he joined us for the event, good to see you Wald. Uh, let's see, so we'll hang out here for a while, and we will see who is next on the list of lots they want to show off. Alright, so we are at the next lot, I don't know whose it is, if I find out I will be sure to tell you. But, in the meantime, we'll do a little exploration. Looks like it was redecorated a little bit. They really liked the idea of the Halloween stuff, and I like the Halloween stuff too. Very cool. And I like the fact that they added in these sp cobwebs, or spider webs, where you can actually run on the water, so you can feel like Jesus himself, if you believe in that stuff. And now, I'm kind of curious about one other thing, though. Wonder when those other rooms are going to be added. I know it's probably not going to be for a long time, but it'd be very cool if they were added in very soon. Hey, Doc Skurata! How you doing? Hey, Doc, what's up? Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Got the lights there. That's good. Got ourselves the... What is it? The, the Dooku Pumpkin, which I want to buy for Halloween, because I know they said that it was headgear you could buy for your character, but I can't buy it. I, and I want it desperately. Too bad I have to wait until the end of this year. Yeah, well, alright. It doesn't look like this changed too much last we saw it. But, you know, I like the addition of the Halloween stuff. So we will see which lot we will be moving on to next. But let's see if I can figure out whose it is. Alright, so here we are at... Uh, who was it again? I'll have to check. Hold on a second. I have to make sure I get the name correctly. I know who it is. It's Trash's lot, but I want to make sure I get the name right. Trash Can Materials lot. Sorry about that. This is Trash Can Materials lot, and it looks like he has done a lot of work since last I've seen it. I like how he used the green boxes. Because I actually kind of remember using the green boxes myself, actually. Looks really cool. I decided to go into some d different gear just because... I think it was a little too warm to go to Ryloth wearing a helmet. Now, I wonder, is there anything on the outside here that I'm missing? Did he build anything on the outside, or is it just kind of to keep with the rectangular formation? Eh, okay, so it looks like it's just rectangular formation. So, the inside here. Looks like there's a bar area, almost, or a little club area. Which, or, hey, maybe it's even gymnastics, with the way things are stacked up. Where you can go in and out very easily. You can just run up things. You don't have to jump. That actually makes things a lot easier. Got ourselves a... Oh, wow. Is it just me or is everybody lagging? Eh, maybe it's just me. Hold on a second. 
Alright, so everybody's FPS is just bad here. Yeah, mine's not too good either, but it's probably better than most people's. Alright, so, anyways, back here. Is there anything built back here yet? Let's take a look at the side rooms. Okay, so I'm not seeing anything built in this room yet. Alright, back here, it looks like there's a little bit of a computer workstation area, and a control center. That looks pretty neat. Let's see here. Oh, okay, everyone's over here. Looks to me this is just a little storage area for where you would land your ships. And here he is, trash can material. That's his lot right there. Anything back here? No. Okay. Still a pretty impressive lot overall. Now, can I go up there? Hold on a second. Can I go upstairs? Let's see if we can find a way up. Um... I'm not seeing any stairs. Up here there are stairs, but... Over there, I'm not too sure if there are any. Looks really cool up here, though, I gotta say. The green boxes go very well with it. And now, let's see. Do we have to jump up somewhere to get there, or is that not possible? Yeah, I'm not seeing where you go upstairs. There's no type of, how you say, area to climb up to. So, I guess it's off limits for now. Hmm, oh well. Still a very nice lot though, overall. So let's see where we go next, while we all hang out and wait. Alright, so here we are at Zevaj or Zevaj's board game Sith Academy lot. It's very similar to Ava Blood Knight's board game for those that have seen the video on it. If not, then there will definitely be a link to her uh, video on that. Or to somebody's video who's done it. This was like a very big lot. I like the yellow number six. That looks pretty cool. Now, I'm not too sure though. Does it go over here first? And then it makes its way over this way? Or... Do you have to go right and then go up? Hmm. Or do you get to choose your own way? It's very interesting, this uh, board game. Very curious. Or is this not even a board game? Is this just a area where you do some parkouring? Uh, let's see. Let's see where these areas lead us to. This does look very cool. Hey, Mace Window! Okay, there's a green number 5 here. Must mean something. He'll probably explain it to us. Oh, yellow lights. Hey, yellow lights uses arrows. Nice. Alright, this is obviously a special space. Don't know what it's for because I've never tested out this board game. I've only t tested Ava's board game so far. Oh, okay, yeah. And there's another way up here. That I didn't even see. Can I jump up here? No, I cannot, because my jumping abilities suck. Alright, let's go up here. Okay, uh, yeah, you can, can we jump up here? Yeah, we can. Okay, this looks interesting. Why does this look familiar, though? Huh. Kind of reminds me... Oh, wait, duh, yeah. Now I know why. Because it's it's the stupid uh, pillar. I'm like, huh, wasn't there a pillar in here somewhere? A a my dumbass over here? Uh, forgetting that there's 16 different pillars over here that I just didn't bother paying attention to because I'm too busy jumping on these things. Oh, I actually didn't do too bad uh, jumping here. Oh, well, I missed the last one. That's embarrassing. Anyways, let's see what's back here. Is there anything back here at this point, or not really, because this is where the board game ends? Ah, we, we shall see. Hold on a second. Alright, so here we are at Doc Scarata's lot. We were here before, but I think there have been some additions. We shall take a look real quick. I can't remember for sure what's been here and what's been added, but I'm sure he's added some new stuff since the last time we've been here. If not... That's fine, because 
there's always uh, some cool stuff to explore in this lot. I always like how he has all these plants hidden over here. And he has a couple areas where he has the shooting range. And it looks like some people are taking advantage of the shooting range. Hey, that's good. I'm very interested to see. Will Doc Skarada buy 10,000 man... Not Mandalorians, what am I saying? 10,000 Trandoshans if they become house guests. If they do, I expect a house filled with Trandoshans everywhere. Not a single spot available for anybody else. We shall see, though. Yeah, okay, it looks like everything's relatively the same, but if there's anything else new, I'll show you. If not, then we'll just skip to the next lot like we've been doing in these videos. Alright, so here we are. I believe this is Lynn Starseeker's lot, if I read it correctly. And I remember seeing this, I think, in the Ryloth Hangout video on the Clone Wars Adventures emulator uh, YouTube channel. You can uh, check that out, too. Just type in CWA Emu or MU, CWA MU, and you should be able to find it very easily. Oh, look at this dining room. And a little bit of a living room area. Very, very nice. Now, when there's more of an option for... Uh, what is that? For more building sets? I wonder how much better this can look. I mean, this looks really good, especially seeing this kitchen area. Looks like there's a dishwasher, we got ourselves an, uh, an oven, we got ourselves a refrigerator, uh, we got ourselves quite a bit of star storage, and we got ourselves that little area in the middle here with, uh, what, what's it called? An island. I believe that's what they call it, an island, in cooking terms. I don't do a lot of cooking, so I don't know what it's called. Uh, let's see. Okay, nothing too much over here. Yeah, a little bit of a hangout area, that's nice. Alright, floor 2 looks pretty empty, but it still does have some very nice looking, uh, what do you call it, it has some nice potential up here. And now, how to get up there? Do you have to use a mount, or is there some stairs? Yes, there are stairs! Excellent! So, we shall go up the stairs and see what we can do. Yep, beautiful view! Excellent view of Lynn Starseeker's little house here. I'm sure she'll be adding some more stuff in the future. More so when they expand the store, I would assume. And now, let's take a look. What's back here? Rock, paper, scissors. Hey, I always lost that game. I never won that. How about anybody watching this video? You ever lose or win rock, paper, scissors? I was always a loser at that game. And this looks to be a sleeping quarters that is going to be blocked off to the general public because it is a private area. So, do not try going in here or you will likely be facing a hefty fine from Miss Starseeker. Uh, other than that, uh, that looks like to be the full exploration of the lot. I will wait and see if we're going to do another one. Alright, so it looked like that was the end of the event. It was about, I want to say, an hour and a half, maybe two hours long. So, this video will probably be condensed down to between 30 to 40 minutes, somewhere in between there. I just uh, cut out the fluff where we were waiting for like 15, 20 minutes in between certain lots. Figured that wasn't really too important, but everyone got to see some interesting lots today. Hopefully everyone enjoyed. But, you know what, I'm going to uh, just see if anybody's going to show anything else, even though Blaine's offline. Alright, so nobody else is showing off any other lots, and it looks like everybody's logging off at this moment, so... Anyways, thank you all for watching this video of the 10-year Clone Wars Adventures emulator anniversary, showing off all the lots. Some of them you've seen, some of them you have not. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and bye bye